you know, we found Joey. I heard some of the tracks he had on his site. And, again, you know, like you were saying is he could pull the stuff off we wanted to in that ballpark. And, like, the first thing he says to us in our, in our in the first time he comes down is, hey, can we learn more Rush songs? And it's kind of like, you know, you see Andrew kind of have this big grin on his face. And Chris is like. You know, then you heard the angels sing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Spotlight on him. It said angels, that, not that, you, Mike. That pretty much sealed the deal right I'm there. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I mean, sorry. in addition to the fact that he was prepared, he yeah, showed up on time. Well, that's the thing is, is and had so nice skin. Other people Andy. we had come in. They he were died late. his hair that day, right? Yeah. Okay. They were they were late. Heard. They were unprepared. They couldn't perform. They didn't know how to hold a mic. It sounds like me and my wife on the wedding day. I was yeah. late. Couldn't oh perform. Jesus! So you know, <laughs> Joey oh, shows up. Performed, I heard. Jo- Joey shows up. He's on time or early. He's pre- he brings his own mic. He brings he has all the lyrics. Yeah, but did he do that because he's a germaphobe, or he just brought that to be? Crazy? No, he was he was he was on spot. I mean, we're well, fifty three years old. You learn a thing or two, you know. Yes, and he's also OCD like the rest of us, so it all works out. So if you guys go on tour, you gotta buy a defibrillator, no? What? For his age, <laughs> clear. Yeah, no. That's an old joke. Oh, so, you know, these guys, went all, here. these guys, well, you know, they went all out to contact me. Why would I want to waste their time? I've been doing this so long that it's like a, it's no difference than a job. You want to be professional. You want to be on time. And, you're, you know, you go, you want them to know that you're serious. You have great work ethic is what you're well, That's it. Got it. Awesome, Skid. Unless you knew what they went through prior. Absolutely. Yeah, so after, that we, we doesn't told him about it after the fact, you know. Oh, you told them after, but yeah, you know, we didn't get. We, it was like, let's see how, let's see how he is if we get on with him personally, and and if he fits in, and the personality was right, and he and got our our quirky sense of humor, and and he smelled like Jergens lotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you moisturize or no? Um, oh. I, oh. <laughs> just this cock. Go, yeah. <laughs> well, you got great skin, don't he? He just rubs wow. it. Why is that offensive to you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got great skin. We're jealous. Yeah, Dave, Jeez. you prude. Oh, prude. Mike's, on, Mike's on a roll tonight. What happened last night to you, brother? <laughs> I don't know. Last night, I believe we were talking about a bunch of pirates jerking off on the ship and cleaning the ship with their... I thought it was the poop deck. Bleach yeah, it was the poop deck. So I'm, that's lost. Yeah, deck. I'm lost right now. But, you know, no, he just, he's, on his, he's on his A game tonight. <laughs> He's on fire. He is. He's an uh, animal. You're dead to me. Or if you were from Boston. Ah, it was all, it was yeah, all good, brother. Where all the you're, Portuguese are up in Boston. You get pirate yeah. ship, laddie. You're dead to him? That's not nice. No, it's all right. It was, it was a joke. Right. It was a joke. Mike. Uh, it's a joke until well, to the Category 3 hit us, and then that's the last word he heard about you. Yeah, it could be worse. That's wow. fucked up, bro. Just that's all right. Just because he's homeless. That's, that's a Chiefs fan for you. <laughs> Who's homeless, Mike? It's just joking. It hurts to be a Chiefs fan. He's half homeless. He's not full homeless. I am in a what beautiful place. Homeless. You never go fully homeless. <laughs> he's half homeless, meaning he's got a place to live, but it's but not his. No, it's not mine. So it's not it can't get kicked mine. out at any time. It's I not what he's looking for right now. He's so he's married is what you're saying. I, I think yeah. I'm, no. I think I'm, oh, co- no. I'm covered till next April. He's far from married, bro. <laughs> Robin Williams, Jamie Foxx, went full homeless, went home empty-handed. What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> it's like going full retire. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the basement. <laughs> Good God, You're man! Overwhelmed with crickets. Oh, oh, you co- is this make? Is, is the window making you cold? No, I'm all right. Thank uh, you. Are you? Co- no, you cannot be cold with all this man. It is so hot. I'm not. It's not all this place smells good. like man ass and and real cream. So that's the smell. Yeah. Yeah. Jergens lotion. Yeah. Jergens lotion. It's, a, it's, a, it's in between curry and life well, savers. Yeah, Joey, it's so it's kind of awesome. Maybe a little Irish spring ready. Smells like chicken soup. I like how right in front of the window is a can of air freshener and a power drill. <laughs> yeah, it's like air freshener of real citrus. That's, that, that's my manly corner. It's like man cave yeah. decor. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's my is manly the, is corner. The, is the light on? Anybody turn the light on? I did. Yeah. Did you turn it off last night? I did. You got to stop leaving without saying goodbye. It gives me a complex. I'm Does like, it? is it? <laughs> he turns around, he leaves. He just doesn't say nothing to nobody. He leaves. I've done that. So you just think, that, oh, is he mad at me? Well, when I'm done, I'm done. I go. Well, he's got to get wow. the car home to his parents. No, Mike, <laughs> say goodbye to him right now and tell him it applies to later. Yeah, can you so funny. He's got to 11 okay. o'clock. I will say goodbye. <sighs> he's got that legal curfew. <laughs> Were you in cover bands or anything prior to that? or uh, Just covers? or It was uh, more like classic rock. We covered bands like uh, um, Cheap Trick, um, 
All the 78 to 82 stuff. Judas Priest, we did some Priest. Can you get Priest? Can leather. you do half? I can, I can uh, get Priest. Can you Hell incorporate that the next time I come? We can we get we're, something? We're actually after can we get Electric s- Eye, maybe? Well, hold on a second. Uh, after, after our set Saturday night, Chris and I were kind of talking back and forth while um, Andrew and Joey were, I don't know, getting drinks or food or something. And we're like, okay, here's what else we got to bring in the set. And here's what we got to do. And we were talking about Priest and some Queensryche. And how about but his range, you got to yeah. do Priest. How about, yeah. the, how about the Ripper? The Ripper would you Colt would be good. That would be cool. The Green Man Elite. We were actually talking about, like, uh, Just don't do like Elvis Costello, guy. please. Oh, man. Dude, dude, whoa, whoa. Dude. I know. Listen, dude. I know. I know. I'm sorry. But, yeah, we were talking about incorporating some, you know, stuff like that and, and trying to keep it balanced. I mean, we we know like a half a dozen Rush songs, so I think uh, we need uh, some other element in there now, too, you know? I'm spinning disc right now at home because I don't have cable yet. I got an old, big, gigantic Screaming thing. for vengeance? Is it popping and hissing? Dude, it's cracking, popping, hissing. I got to clean the, the, the uh, needle ass? all the time. But it's great. It's yeah. great. I got all my old albums. I'm playing all yeah, my old Rush fidelities. albums. And it's so good, man. It's great. It's great. Nostalgia. It's catching, it's catching up. I mean, the digital age is starting to catch up sound-wise. but You just got to keep getting up, though, and changing the album. Yeah, it's okay. You man. know, it's like the old days. It's like, shit. It's all right. This one, you actually, you could stack them, too. You could stack a bunch of albums together, and oh, then they'll, they drop. they'll drop down. Right, and then you put too many, and it starts getting slow. Dating ourselves. No, I'm sorry. That's, a that's, it, that's Mike's version of uh, his, his records dropping. <laughs> <laughs> My record drops next week. <laughs> <laughs> like, all day, right? With, I got a record. This guy's got a story. If you ever want you, oh, have you ever had the out. dream to where you just wanted to sit with that old guy in the park and no. listen to his stories? No. That's no. my. That's this my guy's got, you know? It's, it's been no. a full life. Boys. You've never wanted to sit w- in a park and listen to somebody's stories. No. You want to visit my shed? No. Never. No. Don't tell them about. You know, my shed. You're missing something. You can get a lot of songs out of an old person. Yeah, no. Right. Or Forrest Gump. Or Dennis. How do you go from Tennessee to a broken leg to the studio in one in one day? It's all fun. It's just. You did a lot of traveling as a cripple. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. The airport's awesome. They actually, like, cart you around. Oh, it's yeah. Sweet. Oh, do they? Oh, there you go. Good. So you got to get up on stage with crutches? Yeah, no. but the people that push you around in the airport are, like, 85, so you got to worry about them having a heart attack while they're pushing you. That's well, right. actually, I didn't get any old people. It was all, like, really, really sturdy, like, African people. They were very nice. Sturdy African people? That was like a That's kind of racist. In the job it's description. That was very racist. racist. It's like, oh, you're trying not to be racist, so <laughs> unracist really that nice. you became racist. Is they what were it nice. Like. They're like, we're helping you. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you going to do their accent? You mean real well, Africa? You mean, you mean right, Trump. actually from Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Africa. So you, you, you need to qualify your statement a little bit better. You sound like, like Trump's from running Africa. Mate. <laughs> like yes. actually, there like you go. Africans. Like legit Africans. What do they have? Uh, mops and buckets and stuff and buckets of chicken. What do you mean, legit African? I, I think he meant like a Kenyan. You're house. being racist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> bucket of chicken is legitimate African. You're racist bastard. What airport was it? What no, airport was it? from Africa until you what, had a bucket what, chicken. What airport what was it? it? So Were they the white Africans? Yeah, it was South African. Okay. What, what airport was it? Chinese Theron gave me a question over here. What airport was it? What airport? Uh, well... <laughs> And you don't even have headphones on. Hartford. Wow. Bradley. 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 He said Hartford. Are you, Bradley. On, are you high right now? No. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these earphones are like melting my brain. I told you. It's, it's so it's hot. It's you, you, re- you remind me of that woman who was drunk that was talking to uh, me and uh, Carlos the other night. That was my you ex- couldn't ex- get him to shut up last week. This is really Jesus. weird. Right? Yeah. It'll be okay. Right, Mike? We'll get you through it. I've never seen him stumped. He's going to have to just work through it. You're so like shy maybe, now. maybe the next hour he'll come. Used to it, yeah. You want a mouth hug? Yeah, hop? man. Was that, that was for that one again. Carlos <laughs> and I were, were, Actually, were sitting at a table talking guitars, and we're warming up, and we're just, you know, going back and forth. And this this girl was totally shit-faced and just comes up and practically falls on the table and starts chatting us up. And Carlos and I are looking at each other like, We can only okay. fuck her twice. <laughs> What the hell's going on here? And she was just insane. She was really nice, but she was just... <sighs> she was bipolar and drunk. Go ahead and say it. How hot was that bartender? Both of them. Did you see the second one later in the night? Mm-hmm. They were attractive young ladies. Nice. One yes. was like she's a trainer or something. Damn. They both had some arms on them. Mm-hmm. They were working overtime. Ah. See, right, we now now, now we want him to be quiet. Now we yeah, now you know, right? I'm, I'm like, at, no, we got 
We got to take a little break. Got to pay some bills. Andrew's <laughs> sitting here. I drove from the university for this. I know. Jeez. No, we'll get to him. Man. Chris is waiting to get his say in. We'll get to him. We got to take China we all the time. We got to play some, uh, pay some bills here, and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, hey guys. Peter from PPRN. Looking for something to do in Nagasaki? Check out D-Man's Bar and Restaurant. It's a local hub offering delicious gourmet burgers, wings, wraps, steaks, and more. Stop by and enjoy their casual atmosphere sitting in the bar, the lounge, or dining room, or kick back on the patio. D-Man's is located at 1370 New Haven Road in Nagasaki. 1370 New Haven Road in Nagasaki. D-Man's is going to be broadcasting live PPRN radio show on Wednesday, July. July 20th. Go down and check out the PPRN radio show broadcasting live from D-Man's in Nargis at 1370 New Haven Road, Nargis at Connecticut. That's 1370 New Haven Road. Go check out their patio, their bar, and their lounge. They have great food, too. Also, don't forget to check out D-Man's throughout the week for drink specials and local town. Once again, check out D-Man's 1370 New Haven Road, Nargis at Connecticut. Tell them PPRN sent you. J&M Automotive in Nargis, Connecticut has been in business for 28 years. They stock over 450 quality pre-owned cars. They have the highest quality cars with haggle-free price. Complete financing for all credit scores. They take all traders. They are rated with the Better Business Bureau Triple A. They were voted CTI ADA Quality Dealer of the Year. Visit J&M Automotive.com for cars, picks, videos, and descriptions. J&M Automotive.com. They're located in Nargis on 756 and 820 New Haven Road with over 250 cars in the lot. Call them at 203-723-5666. That's 203-723-5666. Also go check them out on New Haven Road and check out their website, J&M Automotive.com. And tell them PPR Instant. Hi there. And if you need any kind of work done to your car, you can try the Silva's Auto Body located in Nargis at 275 River Avenue. Serving the Nargis Valley community with the highest quality of craftsmanship for 25 years, we pride ourselves in delivering on our promise of extraordinary customer service and product satisfaction. We have recently expanded our business with in-house experts in industry gold standard equipment. So once again, give us a call at the Silva's Auto Body, 203-729-5967. That's 203-729-5967, located in Nogatuck on Rubber Avenue. Once again, the Silva's Auto Body, 203-729-5967. Yeah! Hear how bad that sounded, but well, you won't get that sound at Hat City Music Productions, located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. CEO Chris Litwin takes your music to the next level. If you're tired of those basement recordings, those people that you pay too much money for and have you get out within a half hour, well, you won't have that problem. Hat City Music Productions, once again located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. Go check out Hat City Music Productions. You won't be disappointed. Tell them PPRN sent you. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You are listening to PPRN. 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 Drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. The big lie. Obamacare. Five billion. We spent on a website. I hire people. They do a website. It costs me three dollars. Are you running? Are you not running? I am officially running for president of the United States. We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Free trade can be wonderful if you have smart people, but we have people that are stupid. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. They have bridges that make the George Washington Bridge look like small potatoes. I don't need anybody's money, it's nice. I'm really rich. I love the Saudis, many are in this building. Obama, a year ago, yeah.
p.m. to 10 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. All things sports, Sunday night as well. And for all you EDM fuckers, we go all night with that shit. I should have never built this uh, living room. Shouldn't have built it? The uh, house looks good right now. Because everybody congregates over there now. You know? Can you really a Cowboys fan? Yeah. Who said that? So you must be happy now. We, we are very happy. We haven't been happy since 1996. I, I know, but you must be happy that you're actually winning consistently with a rookie quarterback and running back. And it, hey, yeah. this, this I'm rookie very quarterback happy. is like the real deal. Do you think that when... Uh, I'm very happy with him. Do you think him. that when um, Romo comes back, they're going to go... No, you know why? The, um, they're on the f- defensive was, line. is going to knock them out. It was actually out. brought up by, um, of all people, Stephen A. Smith. 
He even said when um when Romo comes back, that off- that offense is going to open up even more, and that that's pretty scary. Know, Dak is playing pretty he's well. He's playing great, but the only problem with him, and I'm thing. not a Cowboys he fan. Does, he doesn't get the ball the down the field like what Romo can. But I'm not a Cowboys fan. But I think Dak is playing we well. Their money. offensive line Thank is playing you, well. But Mr. My Trump, you're not a nice person. Romo is like yeah. fragile. That's yeah, true. he's made out of glass. He's like a straw man. He is, but you know what? With that offensive line, the one thing he's got to learn, he's not mobile anymore. He's just got to learn. He's just got to learn. Throw that ball away, but no. The but he, it's the, the, not the, his the, nature, though. The, he wants to be a gunslinger. He wants a gunslinger. I'm yeah, not going to sit here and listen to this uh, shit. Shut up, you Andy Reid. Shut Reed the fuck up, up about oh, Dallas. What is Dex turnovers? Then Donald like Trump. We won't be no, using Well, no, that's, that's the key. Is, is he's, see, Romo, is, is he's got a tendency not only to get hurt, yeah. but to, 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 to get interceptions, but also turnovers. This, but also, at the same time, he's got a better gun than um, Dak has, and that's what they're looking at. Well... Right, I don't know that I would say time. better right now because we haven't seen exactly what Dak can do. He well, hasn't no, opened it I up mean, yet. I mean, let's let's face it. He's three and one. He should be four and zero. Oh. Yeah, right. I mean, but that 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 game against the Giants, we won't even count because that was just a debacle. Well, the the Giants aren't doing very well. Yeah, but I mean, look, look at Beckham. He looks like a bitch. And then you also got to factor <laughs> in the fact that, like, if if they turn the ball over with Romo, even with his gun, they would have been in worse situations on defense. Like yeah. the defense can't afford to not get punts. No. <laughs> it, right now, well, we saw it like, in, I don't. Uh, you guys don't say anything. I swear, I don't say anything. But we saw with um, the first three games with the Patriots without Tom Brady, the biggest thing was lack of turnovers. And exactly. then in the game they lost, we saw turnovers. We saw mistakes. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, the other thing you got to remember about the game that they lost. I mean, Rex Ryan and um, Belichick. Ryan wants to beat the hell out well, of him. They were fired I mean, up. He's a, def- hey, look, he's a defensive genius. And who would have thought? Peter, you're going to let this continue. I got, I got to go live, so I'm going to let it continue for a if, second. If who would have really? thought New England, New England without Brady would have went 3-1? Well, I mean, well, let's well, be realistic. My wrist, we'll, we'll, we'll probably get to that shortly, but I will say about the game they lost, if you look at two <laughs> things, the Bills were insanely fired up yes. to play the Pats, and the Pats were kind of like, I don't care. They well, were lethargic. They, they really, were. They, they, they looked they like they didn't. They care. were flat. They were flat. And Brissett, he looked like he didn't know half the plays they were calling. Well, they were just too conservative on Austin. Be a host. But listen, can look, you can you just? Brissett, all you gotta do is you weren't even. He he wasn't prepared. Well, he didn't look like he was prepared. The reason they beat Houston because what they did was when they went on the short Bob, week. Bob. 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 Stop. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop. No. No. So now they know that they were going to be one, pretty much one-dimensional because all they had was Blunt to run the ball and a limited amount of plays for Brissett to use. And I might not be a good host. And, and I'm really disappointed because if is Garoppolo is it? was ready to play, yeah. it would have been a different game because he's basically right. mini Brady. All right, Mike, go ahead. Start taking over. <laughs> they shouldn't have put the new bulbs in the tanning bed. I'm fucking burnt. <laughs> Jesus. See, I told you you could See, burn. See, if I tan, I look skinny. I told you you could burn. How do we go from really interesting sport talk. Because we do that on Sunday. No, we, 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 no, we, we, did, we did so Sunday many political talk. and sports shit on the regular shows that we had to open up Sunday to just sports. So if you want to come Sunday, you're fine. You're welcome. Okay. All right, changing the subject. What you guys think about the, even though I didn't see it, the VP and, and, debate and listen, last night. And, John, he won't stop. Oh, neither will I. I can, go all all night. Night. I can tell. We can. I want to just and go. we got to get to your other band members. Music. <laughs> yeah. What everybody think of the VP debate last no night? No way, man. What did I think? Fuck I, that political shit. No, no, no. I, I no, thought, no, no, I thought no, it right. no, 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 hey, no. I'm trying to help to change the subject a little no, bit. No, I'm trying to go live here, so. I'll go live. Right. Go live. So who's next? Ta-da. Chris? Mike, Chris. Chris. Mike Chris. 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 pretty quiet. Yeah. Oh, yes, I have. Chris hasn't spoken at all. So, Chris, what, you're the bass player, no? No, you're not the bass player. No, you're the, you're the drummer. I'm the percussionist. Okay. Close. Oh, the production. <laughs> percussion. So you're the guy that's tucked away, just barely not any girls that look at you. Percussion. Are you married? Percussionist. Uh, no. You're not married. Sports not married. guys. So do drummers not get the share of, of, of pussy like the other band members do? I can't comment on that. Because uh, the lead singer, <laughs> I know you can't, but the lead singer, come on, that's that's a given. But he's married too, right? That's correct. Okay, so you're done. But I, I am involved with somebody, though. You are involved with somebody. Yes. So you guys aren't in the band for the chick, so. No. All right. No. Damn, I gotta live through somebody. I just got married last like last week, so I gotta live. Oh, you're already. Yeah. It's a weekend. He's he it's needs to live through he's somebody for, else. I need There's, a space. In yeah, a, two weeks. But, but in a he's, month, he'll be not like, "You've been divorced right for two weeks." No, I'm not. I was, Most guys who are just married, they're like taking the ring off every five seconds and playing with it. And, I was at the show, putting it back on. I was spinning it on the table. She's like, yeah. "What are you doing?" He was DJing his own wedding. Shit. What a mess. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Dave, hi. All right. So, Chris, you're, how long have you been playing drums? Well, I started when I was eight. 
actually. I first held a pair of sticks when I was eight years old. And, and then he started drumming. Yeah. <laughs> and he's actually the most educated musician. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> The most educated. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I smell like double that, that masters. Yeah. Well, Chris, you have a degree in music, right? Yes, I do. From where? University of New Hampshire. Oh, UNH. UNH, Wildcats. Did you go on campus or was it yes, an online on thing? Campus. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Man, you gotta I'm, ask I, nowadays, people. I'm, I'm completely on. jealous. I'm like completely jealous. I have no idea what that life was like. Too loud? Yeah. No, you can turn it down. It must have been cool. Oh, it was way cool. Yeah, I imagine that was really, really fun. I, I, I tell I you what, the, the college life is, and, and being 46 and being at UConn, oh, yeah, yeah. Do people yeah, mistake no. you for I a don't professor? Want any of that. You d- listen. Oh, the janitor. We already went through that. Yeah. Put it this <laughs> way <laughs> yoga pants will never go out of business. If you, if yeah, you but, there, but there are it some there are some individuals who should never wear yoga pants. I was yeah, saying that to Mike, but he's like, no, 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 give every okay. girl a chance. If and I'm like, if we get fat enough as a nation, I, need, I think we'll do away with yoga pants. I need no. that moment with that out of place yoga pants. No, I need it if, I from, from my, the humor of my life. I need it. So don't ever say don't. Yeah, I would like to ban yoga pants in some areas. Did you teach yourself or did you bang on the pad first? Well, what happened was, um, got a backstory. I'm the youngest of four kids, so my parents were a little bit older when I was born, and I got turned on to music very early. Uh, the sibling right above me, my sister, used to play me all her 60s music, Beatles and everything. So awesome. the Beatles were actually the first music that Did I Did you actually... drop acid with her, man? No. Oh, okay. So, um, so the, you know. You've never dropped acid? I've never dropped acid. With Get your the sister? fuck out of here. <laughs> I think everybody dropped acid. All right, go ahead. With with show of hands. No. We show have hands. ADD, man. You can just show get, hands. get a bear show with hands. So anyway, um... <laughs> So anyway, I was up in the attic, uh, and I found uh, a pair of sticks and a practice pad. Um, the little square one with the rubber on it? The little square one with the rubber in the middle. Old school. Exactly. Yeah, I did that too. It turned out that my brother uh, took drum lessons for a little while but didn't continue, but left the pad and sticks in the toy box. So Hand me down. So, so they mad at you now that you're in a band? Hand me down. Who? Your brother? No. Oh, okay. No, it was very supportive. Um, but having the knowledge of what music was I knew what these tools were so I started using them and then at eight years old you knew what drumsticks were for I'm proud of you yeah then the pad turned into my school books on my bed that turned into the furniture in the living room and my parents decided are you a drummer like everywhere do you like I was yes Yes, he is and so my parents were like you know we ought to get him drum lessons so I was nine years old at that point and um the local high school had a summer music program, and I, they signed me up, and that's the instrument I took, and here I am. Now you guys, when you play, is, is it all on him? Is it his beat that all you guys are focusing on? I mean, no, how, no. Is there, what's the predominant? Well, no, because like, uh, especially some of the covers we do and some of our originals, there's, like, there's different time signatures, and then what I, w- re- one of the reasons I was happy Chris joined us was, you know, I could be playing something in one meter or one groove, mm-hmm. and he can play something completely different underneath mm-hmm. that. And then Andrew can do something that offsets that as well. But he's the focus of the change in, in everything, though. You guys are focusing on him when the song is going somewhere. Can you not hear yourself? Because I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I barely I hear you. It, it really depends on the tune, I think. It's about the headphones. Because we loud. listen to each yep. other. Like, like Peter made a, made a comment that you guys are looking at each other all the time, and you know, it's not like you're in a, um, a more straight-ahead type of band where everything's in one time, like, you know, four, four times. Oh, we don't even easy. have a fucking premise. We just turn the mics on and talk. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. mean, like, when we're playing, is, is you said, you know, you, you notice that we look at each other. Well, there's so many visual cues as well as audible cues. We have to have a line of sight to each other. All right, other. so who's the one that goes off key most of the time? Don, off key? Oh, man. Yeah, who's like, who's... One He's like, no longer in the band. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I, I thought uh, I thought you interrupted me. <laughs> don't don't interrupt me. It's a knife right, to the heart. About this? Okay, listen, I wasn't going to take pokes, but I'm with you. Right. I, you know, I'm I'm not know. trying to be a, a dick. You're a gentleman. Think. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Everybody makes mistakes live. It's just how you cover. It, it happens. Now, <laughs> now, how about this? Um, a lot of bands. I mean, you guys go out and do do what you got to do. How much practice time do you guys have together? Well, right now, we try to practice at least once a week for three or four hours a pop mm-hmm. if we can. 
if we've got a gig coming up, we try to get an extra time mm -hmm. and like I know we're all always practicing on our own as well. Like I, I play every day like two hours, three hours a day. So all right, so there's an individual thing as well as a um yeah. what Absolutely. they were called like a team unit yeah, thing. I, yeah. I've 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 sang with bands in which they would come to uh, rehearsal oh, sorry. and not pick up their instrument after they go home. And when they come back, it's like whatever they played right. was nothing yeah. like what they right. yeah. So, you know, it's you practice on your own. And when right. we get together, we rehearse. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, right. different. it's different. Okay. Yeah. We, we come prepared. Like if we say, like what we try to do, and, and, and honestly, these, these smartphones and stuff are awesome because – I can record an idea on here when I'm practicing. Mm -hmm. I can play it for the guys. Or send like, it back to them. And watch yeah. porn. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. At the same time? <laughs> Anyhow. At the same time? You know, or, or like the, the other the night at rehearsal, right. Chris and I were working on a new original idea, and we're like, well, let's pop up the phone. Let's record it so we can mm -hmm. play it for the guys right. later on with the drums and the guitar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even like, um, like what I'll do often is if I come yeah, up with Yeah, we used to do that with cassette players, man. Yeah. Well, right? you know, that's... Yeah, I'm just was, kidding. I never played an instrument. Well, well when I was a kid, for... I would have two boom boxes. <laughs> I would have two boom boxes when I was a kid. Did, you, did one of them have an alarm? No. Oh, okay. No. And I would record, like, chords on yep. one, and I would play solos uh, over that and record it on the second one. And, you know, now with IMAX and stuff, I can record everything to a drum track or a click mm -hmm. track and send it to the guys. Any more questions, Bob? Ask no, I was just, it was just an obvious question. I thought that had to be asked. I mean, but I pra it, practicing is uh, it, it's always a productive, right. a productive. Yeah. Right. Can any uh, of you read music? Yeah, Chris yeah. and I can. I can. You both can read music. Can, he's he's better than I am. I can I can notate music as well. Yeah, he's he's way, he's way better than I am. He can he actually will write. He's a out, graduate. He'll write out charts music. and stuff. I can I can read and write music as well. I I I used to take classical lessons when I was a kid. So. Does it take long to learn how to know where those little notes and shit go? I mean, you start early enough. Yeah, that's why I was always deterred by music because I can't read very. No, because I, I mean, like Chris, I started when I was like seven or eight on saxophone, so I learned how to read. It's actually easier for me to read single note lines because of playing sax. You still blow that horn or what? No, no. How come? No. no. Uh, Mike still blows a guy named Horn. Yeah, I was gonna a say guy something. named Horny. But it's it's you know all that stuff all that training you know comes into play because I I may not have uh, as in depth a knowledge as Chris but we can speak the same language to a certain degree. Um, Who comes up with the name? Name of what? The Ascension. Now I had people ask me, how did we come? Where up? did Ascension Andrew? come from? I, I guess Andrew? it's a TV show or no? No, it was Andrew. Andrew, do you remember? I don't remember. It was an old tour in really. the seventies. We were, like, brainstorming a bunch of different ideas for names, and I forget where that came from. Yeah, I don't know. I think perhaps a past member might have thrown it out at one point. Yeah, it um, kind of stuck. And it kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah, I was never particularly in favor of it because I think it's hard to spell. Yeah. But, uh, it, yeah, you should read yes, my post. Peter that <laughs> yeah, well, we, don't, we won't have Peter write anything for us. No, 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 no. no. We'll refrain from that. It would be, it would, he would be he would put a, ascension motherfucker. I think you did good, Pete, man. I know, Mike. I love you. You good, man. I, I love you. Because well, I'm in enough. the same boat. I can't spell. I don't, I don't know what other names we threw out, but, I, I mean, ascension just kind of was the only one that the four of us at the time could agree on that kind of didn't sound too hokey and didn't have a meaning that didn't. And how drunk were you man. guys when you did this? Well, we don't really drink that much. I you mean, could I tell them the partiers. They didn't bring nothing with them. I know. I'm just. I, right. I probably drink more than the other guys, frankly, but that's the Irish in me. So. Ooh. Ooh. Mike's got a little Irish in him once a week. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Oliver. Oliver. Irish man named Oliver. So, so, so now I'm gay? Is that what's going it's on? It's 2016. Like, Who cares? Now, now I'm gay, like the last are, three are you officially comments? coming like, out? Is that what you mean? He came out. He's out of the closet, laddie. Uh, it's... He built the closet he came out of. So. Nice. He's a carpenter. So, yeah, Chris is the most educated musician. He really he knows what's his stuff that? really well. So, um, And it makes it easy to communicate. And Andrew knows his stuff also. And Andrew's the quiet one. You know, Andrew, you won't let him talk, man. He, he, he seems very angry. He's been no, lecturing. He's the most no, angry no, at all. No, no. He talks all day for a living. So. Yeah. Oh, so you came here just to be quiet. 
I guess okay. you can say that. It's your sure. turn, man. Step up. You know what he's saying? Good. He's saying, like, I can't believe I'm in a room full of all these immature motherfuckers. <laughs> I, oh, I was. <laughs> going to be hard to He's probably used to that. You didn't so. tell the kids that you were coming on this show. No, I didn't. Hard. He's very laid back. This is not for children. And I if was, any children are listening, stop. What? I will say something about Andrew, though. He's a very easy bass player to play with. Oh, yeah. I was Solid. watching him. I was, not in a creepy way, but I was watching him. I mean, it. he's very... T- he's <laughs> he looks at all you guys like... you watch people. He's no, never in a creepy think, way. Andrew's the I best think, bass player I've ever played I with. think he makes sure you guys are all on fucking point. Yeah, yeah he, he, he does take a He watches role. you guys like he's the mother of the group. Well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd say the mother. Well, the father. The I mean, mother. Are you are not the mother. Mother hen. Or He's mother hen. He's a very rhythmic player yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and tight. OCD? And I'm a rhythmic drummer, so it, it connects really well. Does he have OCD? Well, they we all, all do. They all have some you all do. We're said, all OCD. They all have some level of we're, all, we're all OCD. We're all very meticulous and detail-oriented. So what the hell were you doing in Main Street? That place is, like, disgusting. Well, you know, <laughs> I know you guys are all like, don't touch nothing. Okay, no, okay, it, it, okay. It so, much, well. so they're not a sponsor now. I'm just wow. Kidding. No, just go on. No, go it, 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 ignore it, him. It, it, <laughs> so, like I said, it's I believe in about building relationships and and that um, like I said earlier, it's like. You know, if, if you have a beef with somebody, that doesn't mean we can't be friends with them also. So right. we, I, we became really uh, pretty good friends with Breeze. You know, we played a couple of gigs with them. Awesome dudes. Um, got along great with them. Doesn't and Darren look like a Mario brother? I With the mustache? I told him that. I would not say that. <laughs> I, I, I've been friends with Darren for a long time. I don't think he looks like a Mario brother, no. I, he looks I, like Luigi. I, I don't see the resemblance. Everybody's laughing, though. I'm not going to say he's laughing, but everybody's uh, laughing. So anyway, they, they, the, Darren and, and Carlos uh, hit me up and said, hey, are you guys available on these dates? Is your new singer squared away yet? And I'm like, well, funny you should ask. Yeah, you know. And so they had this date and another date on the 22nd of this month. And, um, you know, the guys were like, let's like- do it. Uh-oh. What was that? I may have to kick him in the balls. ADD, bro. You just A-D-D. fucked this all up, man. I may have to kick him in the balls. Um, He's got old balls, so you got to yeah. kick. You don't have to He's kick not him. worth <laughs> it. Yeah, they're on the ground. So, uh, on the ground. Lord. Basically, Main Street turned out to be a great dress rehearsal for Joey to break him in and, and get him out there and mm. see what the reaction Joey, is. Joey, I was watching you also. Now, is it hard to memorize a lot of songs? As you get older, it's it's harder than when I was. Thank God for the iPad. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That would be me, too. So, yeah, the it's iPad's thing. Right. good. Yep. Yeah. But, you oh, know, man, in the theater. Are you kidding me? It takes so long to learn lines. When you get older in the theater, well, in the theater, you got to keep practicing, too. Now, no, are the songs... Gotta, it's not called practice. It's called rehearsal. <laughs> Same thing. I mean, no, uh, was, no, no, no. Rehearsal's no, rehearsal. But, practice is practice. No, but at home, you got you to practice it, too. I mean, you have your own yeah, rehearsal you gotta, on stage, but you got to practice it at home every day. Yeah. Are all the songs, like, in, in order, or do you have to pick them as you go? What, uh... The playlist do, is already picked out. The, the playlist is already picked out. So what I do is I just copy and paste all the lyrics in order on one sheet, and then yeah. I just scroll down as we get down. Are you guys afraid? I don't know if you've been hearing. Are you guys afraid of the ass caps and BMIs walking in now? No. I mean, what they're, are they they're, do? They're, they're looking. Well, they're looking to come to Connecticut and 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 actually start targeting. Fans that do covers. Well, I, I'm not concerned for us, first of all, because, one, we don't play tunes that are like, you know, we're not like a top 40 band or, a, or a, one of those big um, R&B bands that right. play the really popular stuff nowadays. So that's one thing. We're not playing those types of tunes for covers. Secondly. All the best lawyers love your music. Well, that. And, and secondly, it's. It's kind of the the, the 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 it's an oxymoron. You're gonna get zero from zero. What are you gonna do? What are they really gonna do? That's what I thought too, and they just got me for eighty bucks a fucking month. Yeah, you know? yeah, they are cracking down. They I'm they sorry. cracked down on me, and I I, I said ah, you know what? Right, I, so I only play two songs. Let, let's look at this. I got a solution for it though. Is the club should start. Hiring bands that play original music. They yeah, to, that's the club crazy. should be paying yeah. the ass cap. And well, no, they should hire bands like us that play and original say, music. You're playing original music, like back in the day, you could, you know. Yeah, but my experience, See, even with sm- you, he's, he's college smart, man. But even with them doing he's two songs, smart. it's still an issue. Ask yeah. don't give a fuck. It's still. But I was playing two songs a show. Do they have the resource? See, it's easy. They do. No, well, 
They have a very long arm. I, I, would, I would challenge that to a certain degree because it's one thing to have a couple or three people listen to different radio programs where you don't have to go out and beat the streets, so to speak. Do they have the resources to go to all the venues in Connecticut or southeastern New England and target every single band playing every single weekend? Here's the problem. I wouldn't have got caught if I didn't have people that were haters after they left the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's part of the problem. Too, so now you did develop a couple of enemies. You got it. You know what I mean? Not saying that they will. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. I mean, who? who? I. I, 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 gotta, I worry about the bands like the Derek and the Fumbags and the fucking and the, and the Zoo. They're, they're, they could. Get, they could potentially get screwed. Yeah. If yep. if somebody wants to go after them and has a beat, but that's the same thing with everything. It's like working in the corporate world, man. If if you got one person with enough pull that's got it in for you, you might as well count the days you're going to be working there. Well, why? Like, see, I pay my royalties, yeah. but I don't see who they go to. Well, that's your right. If you're paying something, you should be demanding. Oh, good luck. Where it's going, right? Good luck. Well, you know, no, they they the, provide that. No, they go. These guys they go, alone do 475 it. impressions in one day. So it's you know, like, by law though, there's like 475 12, 12 cent checks. But, but I would think I would I would think by law they've got to provide some kind of accounting for where your money's going for what you're paying for, so you know. I mean, legally, if you were to go out, if you had the resources to go after them and challenge it, they would have to account for that. Yeah, you know, but you gotta, these guys are the ones that are sucking me dry. So I, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> worried, I mean, if, if, if the person you're referring to, that's that's one person that maybe isn't fond of us right now. That I that I can think of. I mean, I so, listening. Whatever oh, if he is or not, I'm I'm not concerned about. It cause don't flatter nothing, yourself. He's not listening. I, I have nothing against him. I really I don't. I have nothing against him. Um, but as to date, all the feedback we've gotten, especially after Saturday, is been very positive. Better. You know? And and uh, that that also comes with like, with us. We I was at a plateau of, of, of ratings, and then it went way down. Then it went way back up, and then like we were doing the bands, and then it went down, and then now we do roundtable. It went back up. It's it's a it's a fluctuating it, thing. It always is going to be. And that's what sucks about being in entertainment. No one understands that. That. You should just be happy if one person listens to you. Cause you you yeah. took the time, and someone's yeah. actually listening to you. It doesn't matter. Yes, of course it matters money-wise later on down the road how many people are listening to you. I stopped looking at ratings. I'm just uh, done with it. You can't worry about that or what other people are doing either. The more you worry about what the other guy is doing, the less you're worried or concentrating on what you're doing. I feed on haters, though. I'm I'm not going to lie. I fucking fucking write. It's the basis of his character. Yeah, Yeah, I I, I feed right into that shit. Like, fuck! You and your mother's ass. Well, that's great. You know, play into <laughs> that and, and play off of that. But for us, that's not what we're about. I right. mean, we we try to be cool to everybody, you know, um, as a group. And I think individually we try to be cool to everybody and just say, hey, we're doing our thing. If you like it, if you like the way we play or you enjoy our music, awesome. I want to hear it. You know, if you if you don't, that's fine too. I want to hear them. If you want to say something about us, say something about us. Yeah. Know? You're like a bad girlfriend. Yeah, I don't know. I want to hear it. Well, at least an acapella song. Well, we don't we don't do that. We we had a guy asking us for crazy the other night. We don't do that. (laughs) Do something bluegrass for no reason. That I can do, but we don't do that. You guys want to? I can put like a a a karaoke version up there if you want to show them your voice. Well, no. Let's pick a song. Are you shy? I'm not shy. It's just um. Uh, I've got a, a regular day job, and by the time the end, the days end, I'm um, just fried. Right. No energy. And, and, we, and, should and we, as and should and we as. sing for you? No, I mean it, it, we, you <laughs> no. could uh, you could check out our instrimental man. on YouTube. Ah, right, you let's want. go do that. Let me tell you, you got to be careful with that voice. I'm telling you. Well, he sells karaoke machines. This actually, isn't a bad day. version of uh, of uh, Dunes either. I think I think it's a pretty good take on it. That's right? a good version. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's progressed since then though. As far as yeah, we've we've changed some, we've rearranged it a little, added some different elements to it. So is it A S C E N A S C E N S I O N Band C T? Oh, band and okay. All, all no spaces, no spaces, no, no spaces. Space. That's there right is. there. Oh, there it is. Three down. I know something. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, so which yeah, one? Second one down, Dunes. Okay, good, because we don't want that top one, right? No, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no, no. This is ascension, everybody. It's an instrumental. Excellent. That's at All Stars. So much better with the airphone. Is that at All Stars? 
Yeah, yeah, but their name is different now. It's yeah, they're like some some cowboy, cowhide, saddle riding, something. But they're still playing rock music. Look how serious he looks. Look at him. He looks like he looks right now. Yeah, yeah. He's focused. He's focused. He's focused. A lot more cool stuff now. They're doing a lot more cool stuff now. This is an iPhone recording. Pretty good. No, the sound's not bad. I'm just saying that you and you and Chris are doing some cool stuff now. Well, not that this is cool, but you're doing some very Shh, we try. Shh. See how they're looking at each other? They look like they're in love with each other. Don't go that far. I see it more as professional respect. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Right on key, everything's good. Feel that stuff. Star Wars show. So much drum. sound from fucking three pairs of three drums. It's, it's yeah. Bass, the time, and the. It's not even his kit. That's that's one of the other bands' kit. That.
there a double pedal? Yes, but I don't use it. Nice. Very impressive. Are you guys those band that when we say nice, it still goes afterwards? Actually, I take that back. There is double bass in that. In one there is a, yeah, it's not a pretty good one section. Bass, there is. Yeah. That's right. It's not a bad take. Oh, yeah, it's not a bad off. take. Thank you. I never knew that was there. Yeah, that's that. There's a lot of different sounds in there. Like I heard some like Rush. It kind of made me oh, think yeah. of songs like Living Color, Soundgarden. All different movements, all different paces. Really, really captivating. Yeah, like, the main stuff. the main you, riff was Andrew and and Chris, and then uh, probably the more metally parts were. Me, I think. Okay. Threw some ideas in there. So, um, yeah. Do you do more instrumentals than vocals? That's no, that's the only one we've got. And uh, ironically, the only reason that's an instrumental is because previously, who, who we were working with couldn't figure out how to put a vocal melody on top of it. So we were just kind of like, Screw. That, is, that would be challenging for that because it varies widely in terms yeah. of tempo and. And measure and all that. But it would be cool. It will, oh, yeah. But you'd need the right musician to, to sing something on top of that. But, you know, we kind of. And his like name is Joey. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. we, 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 like, we like it as an instrumental now, too. So we're just oh, yeah, absolutely. It yeah, works, yeah, I you know. agree. It's, it's, one of those, it, it's one of those tunes that it's, it's an instrumental. Okay. You know, and it's. Yeah. Well, absolutely well, works. Yep. He's not a as, as an instrumental song, you could go a little further, can't you? I mean, there's no holds barred. There's nobody singing, right? Well, I mean, there's also those classic rock songs of the 70s that had like an eight-minute instrumental up front yeah, and yeah, then four right, minutes yeah, of vocals. Right, right. Yeah. You mean like Stairway to, Stairway to Heaven, heaven. absolutely. Yeah. They were giving your money's worth on yeah. your album. Yeah. Pink Floyd, uh, you know. Funeral for a Friend by Elton John has like a yeah. five All my brothers minute. had some. Uh, oh, yes. wait. Yep. Uh, the Weather Girls, Training Men. Okay, you're nonsense. <laughs> like way too often tonight, Pete. <laughs> wow. Wow. No, but I mean, obviously that's clearly got, you know, Rush and Yes yeah. influences yep. and that's that shows, that nature, yeah. you know. How about this? Every time you guys add a new song into when you're going out to the bars or whatever um, do, to do your um, shows, when you introduce a new song, how long does it take to practice it and rehearse it to make it right when you guys are out there? Jeez, I don't know. Chris. Depends on the song. Actually. Yeah, that's, yeah, I was going to say depends yeah. on the song. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you guys have a little different taste. Shut up! Everything. You shut up, bitch. <laughs> no, I mean, but what, what, would, what, what would be the average? I, I, so stick a fucking really, sock in it, you cow. There, there's, oh, fuck I, you. <laughs> <laughs> there's no easy way to answer that because, first of all, uh, we're all, like right. I said, really oh, OCD about stuff. Right. So even now we're changing stuff. Like, you know, Chris and Andrew had some different bits they changed in that tune recently, and mm -hmm. that's making me change some, some parts up as well. Then, you know, you're never satisfied, right. so you're always playing something a little different. Um, and uh, it just do? depends on the tune, man. Every if it's time a, I touch If it's, for every us, time. if it's kind of a simple riff, every time. Right. like one rehearsal, two rehearsals, okay. we'll have it okay. down. Okay. You know, if it's something a little more complex or if we're fleshing parts out, it'll take no, a little no. longer. I'll, right, okay. Yeah, a song like Dunes, like we just heard, uh, that was a – I had that whole thing pretty much – I had the bass Done. line written. So the, the full song in its entirety for the most part, and I brought that to Chris – and so then we had a rhythm track where you had the drums and the bass, and then we showed it to John, and John heavied it up with all the guitar, <laughs> and so that one came together pretty, pretty organically. So, so who writes for you guys? Well, usually, oh, yeah, usually it's pretty collaborative. Somebody will have start of an idea, yeah. and they'll bring it to the group, and then we'll kind of flesh it out from there. Because we never tell anybody tell each other what to play. No. Because I'm not qualified to tell. That's John why I always player. wondered how bands no. put songs together. Like if a bass player. Comes up with something in his head. No, we we don't. First and then all, you got to come up with the guitar, and then you got to come up mm -hmm. with the drum line. Now you got to get Joda. But that goes back to something we were talking about earlier. So first of all, one of the tenets of this group or this collective is, it's it is a collective. It's a team. We do it all together, or we don't do it at all. If we're not in agreement about anything, a gig, recording, a tune. If we don't like a tune, like we had a tune in our set, and all four of us were kind of like, that's kind of like not working. Let's not play that so much anymore and toss it out. Or this is really working. Let's really focus on this. Um, so it's a real collective, and we, we try to flesh things out, you know, and ha we have a good enough dynamic now where everybody's an adult, everybody's got their act together, you know, 
we don't have time to waste so we can talk things out pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. as far as writing music, like Andrew said, Chris might have a drum riff. Andrew might have a bass riff. You know, I, we haven't really written anything totally from scratch with Joey yet. So, but I might have a guitar riff and we'll just come in and say, Hey, I got this thing. What do you think? I think it's cool. It's either going to be like, nah, that, that's kind of lame. That sucks ass. We're not going to play that. Or, you know, that's cool. Let's work on it. And like Andrew said, with Dunes, they had it all sorted out. So all I had to do was say, what key is it in? And figure Where did out. the name Dunes come from? Because we had that middle part that sounded Middle Eastern. Okay. It was originally called the camel part. Yeah. The camel part? Yeah, that riff. Oh, wow. yeah. They called that part the camel the part. The camel part. The camel part. Yeah. I think was a camel toe. Like no, a, no, no. You guys that do comedy, it's it's for every every ten jokes written, one joke works. Something yeah. like that, yeah. 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 I think Andrew might have came up with the name Dunes itself. That is I've never seen you this quiet. Wistful, what the hell? Like, oh, we got a oh. caller. Oh shoot. Hang on. Hello, you're live. Hi. Oh hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, Ricky. Hi. I didn't recognize I your number. I just want to say, what? I didn't recognize your number. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you doing? I just wanted to say I just wanted to say hi really quick because I'm not there and I miss everybody. And uh, oh, I saw the band oh, this sweet. weekend and they were really good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your voice, you sound like but you're I like 18. You're, I know you're going to break, so I just, I was going to make a quick call, that's all. Oh, I'm gonna bang you later. Wow! Wow! Yeah, I'm gonna well, get, get a live feed on that. I'm gonna, gonna give it to you really hard just for calling. Yeah, can we get a live feed on that on PPRN later? <laughs> TMI. Is it a full moon? Come on! Is it a full moon? It was a hurricane. It was when you were looking for my cologne all naked in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, TMI. Uh, love you, babe. I, I found it though. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. All right, I'll let you go. All Have right. a good show. I'll be listening. All right, babe. Love you. Love you. Love you. Right. Love you. Love you. Yeah, she, love I was looking for you. my why cologne. Do girls do, why do girls do we that? We just moved and we're in Tupperware things now for now. Women are like, love you. So love you. I was love like you. looking for love my cologne you. and she love was getting ready to shower. You. So she wanted to be a good wife and she went to look for it. And she didn't realize she was naked. So she was bending over to look at every tote. <laughs> what, did, what did she think she was wearing? She didn't realize she, she was realize. naked? What the hell? You said that to me right now. Are you, you Spider-Manning her? So she was comfortable in your presence? Well, yeah, that's a I guess. step forward, man. Yeah, that's great for your relationship. It's very good. I, I thought I you had a pantsuit on. Turns out I don't. Turns, oh, yeah. out, turns out it's could have been like that old guy on the beach that had that saran happen? wrap around himself for a swimsuit. Turns out it's a clown. <laughs> that's a Borat maneuver. Borat. So now Peter's shopping for blinds. So, yeah, the writing process is pretty collaborative and mm. pretty easy. You know, everybody's easy to work with. I just, I was always thinking there was an argument with because uh, no, not with us, not with you. That's good though. That's, I mean, because we like the same stuff. I mean, that well, there were kind of arguments before, but on the old regime, it's it's it was more like it was more like uh, more a result of the fact that the three of us had a certain particular interest and in, and in like and goal and the other element. In the in the group didn't have the same, and so there was not the same enthusiasm. Whereas now that's different. Does that does that always end badly with bands, or could you part ways and still be friends? Yeah. And stuff? Sometimes uh, yes. Depends yeah. on the yeah. people. Yeah. The situation. Yeah. Well, Chris and I have, have played before. <laughs> you know, not in anything that was you know got out there, but we've played together before and, and tried to get stuff off the ground. And like Andrew said, we've got like six iterations of of this now. So, yeah, you know, you can play with people and, and not have it come to fruition and still, yeah. right. still be pals. The, the other thing, too, is when I first joined up with these guys um, and, you know, and, and they knew, I was auditioning with other bands because I was looking to get back into the music scene. And when I met these guys, it, you know, the moment comes when you know that you found the right group of guys. To I married it, I know. So, you know. And uh, that was that I was found the right decision, guy. So well, it applies there too. Yeah. Yeah. But creatively, absolutely, you yeah. want to be like-minded. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's the problem when you got someone that wants to do things their own way and not want to. 
Everybody else, everybody has an idea, and it's great to share it. Mm-hmm. But when you want to be that person that has the idea, and you don't want to hear other people's ideas, that's when it comes to when it comes to a head. It's it's just personalities. Like you know, I've played you know in groups with other people. That's some of the same people that Chris has played with, and they're great musicians. I think I'm okay. It's just I didn't fit in with them. I didn't have the same vision. It's like okay, it's not going to sort out. I still like it. We're still we're still pals or whatever. But musically, I. We don't Just work out. Well. I can see what you're saying, but sometimes, you know, if you could be helped creatively, it seems like it would help to have somebody. It's like, I mean, it's a lot of times when somebody writes a monologue for, you know, a, a show, there's like 10 people yeah. getting together to write jokes, right? So, like, in this case, you have more brains to get what you're going for. Well, for so us, it works. And our tenors' lives matter, too. For us, it works. But not everybody's right. like that. I mean, there's, there's some bands out there on this local level where it's one individual calls the shots and writes the material and dictates the pace of the band and where they play and whatever and and that's great maybe that works but you've got to have the right personalities which which way works out more in your opinion i don't think either way is right or wrong i think it depends on the person yeah the end result is the end result i, I mean per- it, i personally think a democracy is the way to go when you're in a band yeah. uh, 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 like here's here's the way i look at it and the way i've said it to the guys in the past is like not any one of us is paying the rest of us a salary so right. no one of us has the right to dictate everything mm. now in in a lot of the four of us each of us has different things we're better at than the others and might like you know like uh, Chris is really good at arranging and come up, mm-hmm. coming up with ideas of how to arrange tunes. You know, Andrew's really good at looking at like the whole picture compositionally and so forth. And, and there's different elements, you know, there that everybody's good at that everybody kind of falls into naturally. Right. And you got to it's, you know, it's like any kind of a team. You got to know what everybody's strengths are and let them run with their strengths. Wow, well, where are you guys playing next? Are you playing soon? Bristol uh, bleachers. 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 Twenty second. All right, Max, you ready? We take a little break. And I'm, I'm going to come see you. I'm going to come see you. We'll get to in some more with a section and talk to the other boys, too. Dennis, you have been fucking quiet all night. I know. Are you happy. kidding me? This is the first. It's the very yeah. first. I don't know Are you like, afraid? No, he's no, missing, just, he's, he's missing Andrew. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we'll be right back. I've got good news for you. You are listening to PPRN. PPRN. Tonight we gonna party like it's 1999 Yeah 
it's not safe, but I never run away, even when I'm on the way. OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time before I go. I have powers taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time before I go. I have powers taking a hold on me.
rules the nation from state to state, country to country. We play the hits just for you. from 12 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next day. DJ Max, DJ Manny, DJ M3. Damn, Mikey's got a sports coat on now. Look Joe at this. Antonio. Can we do that? Me. Yes. We're all mixing. And then we uh, get EDMs to fly uh, to us from edm to gocom You know, like XL and what are we doing? Oh, we're under here. That's <laughs> we're, we're not paying to play at the Webster, I'll tell you that. Look right at now. Mike's jacket. Are you hosting a quiz bowl after this? <laughs> I think so. It looks like he's hosting Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, but, but we're not. Yeah, can we pick up Mike's jacket for a minute? I'm going hunting. Hunting for what? Bargain. I haven't Fox. seen patches. Bargain. Elk? Red Fox. Hey, I have boots. You do? Yeah. Good. It good. doesn't hunting. make it cool. I am oh, going I hunting. Okay. Release the hounds. We're going to go hunting. All right, so we're live today. Uh, it's Wednesday, 10 5, 16, and we're live with the band Ascension. Also, Dave Sheen's here, and Dennis Gifford here, Bob here from the sports show, and, and Mike here. Dennis has been very, very quiet tonight. I, mean, I know, I'm so scared. Out of your realm. I'm scared. I Paralyzed. I think you need Andrew here. Scared. Andrew, Andrew yeah. quit on us yesterday. I still I think the, he's hot. The, bl- the bloody bastard. He I, says I he has Tuesday fucking gigs, whatever. Dennis oh, is He burnt himself out. He'll be back. Oh, he'll be back. No, he drives too far, I guess. <laughs> yeah. His creative juices will force him back. It's not even like it's that far. New Milford is far mm. from any town. Yeah, New yeah, Milford's like, is. yeah, but including the towns yeah. bordering it. Yeah. It's, far. it's yeah. one of those yeah. definitely. New Milford's its own little town. Yeah, but New Milford, I think you can go, se- doesn't seven run into 15 at some point? Sure. It's far. All it's highways far. run into each other. It's far, far. It's far from <laughs> Southbury. It's 20, 27 miles here. 20, well. I'm coming from Naugatuck. It takes me 25. And then, and then he's got like another 27 miles. Yeah, that's true. You would have to oh, take wow. a propeller plane from Naugatuck if you wanted to. No, no, you got to take, you take a dr- um, one of them drones. Drones. A dirigible? What are we, Amazon? A dirigible. A Zeppelin. From New Milford, you probably got to take a helicopter. A helicopter. He's doing a selfie. Nice. Wow. Okay. Hey, real, real quick. quick. Smart. His arm is long enough. It's like one of them poles. He's, like, he's got his own built-in selfie stick. His, fig- his fingers are like longer than normal people. Real, real quick for Mike, I know he was asking... Um, 
I don't know if anybody's in the, um, the wild card game, but at the end of four, the Giants and the Mets are tied at zero. And how does that make you feel? Uh, who, cares? who cares? But you were asking. You sell that by wearing the jacket, Mike. Thank you. I thought we only talk about sports on Sunday. No, no, we, right. we, do have a we do have a counselor. Yeah, next whatever helps you sleep at night, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he finds out we have a professor. He starts dressing up for a change. Dave, you got any gigs coming up? I'm at a coffee house in Bridgeport tomorrow. So oh, that's right. Up. Doing what? Joking. Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> yeah, these two are comics, by the way. In quotes. Okay. In quotes. Dennis, you, you're out for, the, for a while, right? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, put, I'm taking a little bit of a break. I have a show in uh, Lemonster on the 15th in October. In what? Where is Lemonster? Is that a it's in Mass. Yeah. <laughs> it's far. Massachusetts. But uh, I'm kind of laying low for a little bit. All right. Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah, just in case. You're writing you material, move. man. You're writing material. It wouldn't look good there when you go up on stage with a crutch. No, no, it could give you oh, something to talk about. That's my yeah, whole act. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Falling down, standing back up. I'm again. a prop comic now. <laughs> the next carrot top. I got all these cerebral palsy jokes from a roast, so I got to use them. <laughs> Might be the perfect time to use them, <laughs> Even if the subject isn't Go there. Go ahead, let's hear it. That's just oh, no, wrong. <laughs> I, I, I refuse to listen. You got to listen. Yeah, give us one. I can't. No, no. it's just, Don't, Bob. What? You're such a prude. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't be a party hater. Right, don't no. be a party hater. Dennis, say the joke, but substitute any offensive word with macaroni. Yes. Okay. Beefaroni. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> the offensive word? Okay. Uh, let's see, it's like that's a cute. Actually, that's like that's a cute outfit, Michael. Macaroni. I'm gonna use you, Michael. Okay. <laughs> it's a cute. That's a cute outfit, Michael. Where'd you get that at the at the Handy Gap? Wow. Wow. It only works when someone actually. Well, if, that, if that's an actual question, I'll tell you where I got it. If you're really asking, I'm actually. Yeah. Did you get you it? You need from to get laid, folks. Have, have you ever been to, have you ever been to a play, ever played a place called Bantam, Connecticut? No. I yes. Love Bantam. It. Yes, we've all been to Bantam. We've been to Beverly's. Yeah. yeah, the secondhand clothes store right next to the laundromat. Is yeah, that nice. where you go to furnish your shed? <laughs> you remember the shit right near Popeye. Yeah, I, I brought the shed up earlier. So. No, he, he was on last time. He brought it up. Yeah, the shed. Why do you want to go to the shed with me? I don't want to go to the shed with you, Mike. I you couldn't handle my shed. Times. He calls it a studio. <laughs> That's shed. how he gets away with it. The shed is all messed up. You yeah, can man, only I, tell me once that there's ice cream when there's really no ice cream. It puts lotion on them in the studio. Be wary of a man offering ice cream that is lactose intolerant. You want to come to my man cave? No, it's my shed. And then, then when you're done, you have to go to Popeye's. <laughs> you're just learning that two hours later? No, I've been just okay. waiting on that for a while just to confirm. Max does this every week. He just sits over there all quiet. He acts like he's doing something, but he's really not. He, he does his thing in the wheels. Yeah, he doesn't want to fucking listen to it. I think he's dumbfounded tonight, too. He hasn't been talking much, either. About every six shows, he says something so brilliant that we all stare at each other. That's like, the, yeah, that is damn. the magic of Max. He, he bottles like, it up. He's like he, a silent Bob. It's like, Bob. damn, you were listening. Yeah. He's about ready to say something. He just grabbed the mic. No, no, he's got nothing this week because he wants to be nice. He could be waiting to hit you in the it's back. A, it's a though. new studio, man. It's, yeah, it's, he's it's so new, good. It's new it. digs. I was actually just taking it all in today, actually. It looks so clean above your head. And the van was... They were really good, so that yeah. was kind of. Yeah. I wasn't expecting, you know, not that you were going to be bad. I wasn't expecting that type of talent. Like, it's really Damn. good. Like, thank you. We're not used I, I to do. skill and talent. The and transition is. I really say. don't know. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that type of, you know, sound. To be honest with you, I was thinking something totally different. And when you guys started playing, it, it took me to another level of what I expect. You know, to hear to what I did here, and it, it was very impressive. So, so just, what would you think about um, by you. by the um, band's name? Would you think it more like heavy metalish or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking I was gonna hear some like you know kind of weird stuff, <laughs> and it actually came oh, like out a little, to that's because Max has been with us for a year and a half, like a little entertainment, and, and, and actually that stuff that I can actually use for some of the stuff I do. Ooh. So it was like kind of like. You threw me off, basically. You know what I mean? I wasn't expecting it, and then when I heard it, I was like, wow, damn. Stump the okay. max. You know? he, if you he throw him off, you're doing a hell of a job. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't expecting no college Yeah, we're, we're, kids, we're kind of so. pretty tame tonight. This is, not, this oh, is really this is not a good night. Dave no, was even quiet. But our, yeah, Dave's our, very quiet. Dave's <laughs> 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 now thinking of how to weave dunes into turn no, you know what it is? Dave's not used to being like a coach. No, you know what it is? We got headphones, and now we actually sound professional. Yeah. 
We're, we're actually be, we're growing. Max. I think that's a very that, large. We're growing, step. Daddy. I knew that was going to make a difference, though. Headphones. It, it makes headphones difference. makes yeah. a big difference with everything. Tell me this is. Tell me this isn't different right here. Yeah. <laughs> you're like that. You're like that. You're getting pointed at. Like, you are. You are. Some special. We just got called out. He's different. <laughs> Get the different kid. And what, here comes what Dennis live. Burn the kid that doesn't match us. And then, and then what happens is, as time goes on, everybody's going to start investing in headphones. Because the quality of what you want to hear, yeah, it's gonna be another. It makes thing. a difference. I don't care what headphones. I, I can I already, buy, I can already tell good. who who knows what I'm talking about just by the quality of headphones. Mike went out and spent fifty bucks on his. I, I, I can did. just tell. I did. Just ten more than it, he spent on that jacket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a blue light special. <laughs> Probably true. But as far as our music goes, I no, mean, it's really was, pretty good. We've got heavier tunes, more. and we've got you know more mid tempo tunes. We really. That's one thing I think we're all happy with and we really are striving for is to have nuances and dynamics in the music, too. You know, it's not just one. The sound, thing. though. The sound and the preciseness. It's tight. And how it's, you guys, it's, like, it's, respond to each other. I can see right on how you're looking at him and he's looking at you. And I, I, I can see it, but you're not fully turning around to distract your performance. Right. You always stay focused on the crowd and everything in front of you. You don't, you know what I mean? You guys did it very discreetly. That's stuff that I look at. And, and the way you guys were doing it is that you were rocking when you were turning. Like, you know, and looking, but signaling those. You could, I, I, I've been in the music 20-something years, so I, I, I'm from all types of sounds and genres. But I could see what you guys were doing. And that, that was real slick because you guys were doing it in a unique way without people really, like, catching on to it. And I was kind of like, look at them. They're, they're communicating without really putting yeah. it out there that they're communicating. Yep. And that was real cool. Even the drummer. You know, I could see him when he would angle this way and then he would angle that way and kind of communicate and everything was going in sync. Do you wear the hat every show? Yes. You do? Yeah. Is it something that's like a lucky hat or something? Yes. Yes, it's lucky. When was the last time you washed it? Is it that lucky? Sunday. Sunday? Oh, there you go. I usually hand wash it, yeah. Oh, you do? Because usually people don't wash their lucky things because they don't want to. But, you know, like regarding the, the, the visual cues and stuff, a lot of that is is you don't always have great sound on stage. Like, it seems like every show, every gig, I'm, I'm always complaining probably to the point where I'm driving the guys nuts. I can't hear a damn thing. You know, I, you really can't. The only thing you can really hear is the drums because it's a You want to hear a solution for that? You got to get the earpieces. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you got to get the wrap around yeah, so but, earpieces. But I, I don't like, I wear earplugs as it is just so I don't lose my hearing, but I just don't like this feeling. No, they're no. small. They're no, wrapped know, around your I, ear. I, 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 I don't know. It's just. It's you need a good sound guy. You need you a need. guy who's going to mix you right. You know? Like, yeah. Right. I, we did. We were That's doing key. one show. Well, our last show before we played with Joey was f- so frustrating because I kept telling the sound guy, I need the bass and I need the vocals in my monitor. And I'm like this, pointing to the vocals in the bass. And I swear the guy cranked me up in my monitor. And so if like if all he didn't I can know how to split channels, that's no. The if all I can hear is myself, it doesn't do me any good. You know, same thing for the rest of us. You got to be able to hear mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. It's yeah, sound, a good sound guy. Sound guy yeah. is yeah. yeah the main thing when you're doing a performance, man. You know, and you'll know you start feeding into which ones are the good ones when you show up to certain places and you got the the real good guy and you're like, yeah, we're gonna sound great. And then you pull up to the one that the guy's a fucking idiot. You're like, oh <laughs> shit. Ninety percent of the sound guys are. Yeah, there's a lot of great guys. They're very like angry. Them. No, they're idiots. You should uh, see these. They're, they're very should... angry. Have, ever, have you ever been a nice sound guy yet? Well, you know, there's there's one guy there's in particular. He's cool, but he, he's, he drinks a lot before he starts mixing. So then you don't know what you're gonna get. You know, <laughs> mixing before <laughs> mixing. Hello. Our, at our next gig at Bleaches, we have. The, that guy's pretty good. That he's guy's just miserable. That guy's great. He's miserable, yeah. though. I've worked with him. Hey, we're long, friends with him. He's a great mixer, but he's miserable. As, as Let him be don't miserable. ask him no questions. When he walks in, don't ask him shit. Let him set up. Let him do his thing. And then you can talk to him. He's very, as, very as long good. as we can hear ourselves and the band sounds you good. Will. You will. That's know. all you need. You will. That's all I care. Now, hey, when's, when's, that, when's that show? 22nd at Bleachers in Bristol. Okay. We're playing with Breathe Again. Of October. Of October, yes. October 22nd. Yep. What do we say? It was 300 Middle Street? Yeah, 300 Middle Street, Bristol, Connecticut. Across from ESPN. Is yeah. Awesome. That's what I yeah. Well, ESPN oh, has like bleachers. nine blocks, so you do uh, want yeah, a more specific that's address. A, that's a small city. It's, a part, it's across from ESPN. That's the, just the a baseball right it's like that's thing. It's in Naugatuck. Yeah, yeah. It's like nah, Disneyland. It's it's like, where are you going to be? Oh, across from the, ma- the, uh, the, the, the Cinderella's Castle. Oh, okay. Just like, you know where ESPN is? Just follow, just follow the signs. Yeah, pretty much. 
No, but that'll be fun. That's what breathe. You know, I, mm -hmm. I imagine we're probably going around around, around the same time. Like, uh, where we go on? Like nine forty. Nine forty. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So you guys gonna start doing your own stuff, like without breathe? And yeah, I mean, it's taken. It took us a, a year to get the right people and get the first show at the beginning of this year. Then we had that little lull for for a, a month or so, um, and we just started getting back out there now. So yeah, I mean. Uh, I've already started talking to some venues we played before about booking ourselves as the main act in the first of the year. So, yeah, t 2017, we're going to start doing that. Good. Because you need to uh, get out there and just get yourself out there. Yeah, we, we want to get the first, you know, EP done first, you know, um, before the end of the year. We'll probably take the time we're going to have between now and the end of the year to do that and get some recordings out there to actually – promote well, the band and, exactly and have some some product for the people to listen to mike can go out there and with his jacket with his 40 dollar jacket mm -hmm. now, no this, no the this is 1999 blue light at kmart the, the jacket was ten dollars so i spent forty dollars i like that you're taking your own stride into the fashion scene yeah i love that yeah it's good. i do i'm it's not awesome. kidding well i mean i love that no, that's, that's you don't even brother. care it's G Fox. You just, uh, uh, oh my Ooh, God. G Fox. G Fox. G Fox. Yeah, that's that? about oh as big God. as JC Penny selling appliances. 1980. That, that's as big as Caldor. The yeah. previous owner barely. I would have guessed Bradley's, but. That too, yes. <laughs> or two guys. Caldor. Caldor. Bradley's. The previous Jealous. owner barely. You know what? Jealousy. Jealousy. Peanut butter and jealous? Yes. Right. TJ Maxx. <laughs> TJ Maxx is still around. Don't laugh because I bought a suit at the fucking red, white, and blue store for seven dollars. Oh worry. yeah, it was a nice suit. Ames. A bathing suit. Ames. Ames. Works. Remember Ames? Yeah. There's Ames. a Richland. There's Not still a Richland. That. You know that? There's a Richland in West Hartford, or West uh, Haven. Oh wow! I know. I saw one today. I'm like, wow. What Richland the store? hell is that? West Haven. Too crazy. Yeah, the, the, I'm telling you, those consignment stores, you get some good deals sometimes. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. I I seen the jacket on one end, and I looked over, and the pants were on the other aisle. <laughs> the jacket was five, and the pants, pants were two. Were two. Yeah. It was a fucking complete suit, dude. I was like, all right. I didn't wear it to my wedding, though. Thank God. So like I wore it to an interview that I got a job with. It's like a so pimp suit or a real suit? <laughs> no, it was nice. It wasn't double-breasted with, yeah, no. with a With a feather. It, it was a nice green. To pink put it with that ruffles. Green. You know what, man? If you got, nice if you got pimped up, you would look green. badass. I'm good. a very good-looking guy. Man. He was pimping down the floor. He, he was pimping down the floor. You, you should have seen me when I was 20, dude. I had the abs, everything. No He's way. so good-looking, he pulled off a $7 suit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. it's, listen, I shop at Walmart, dude. I don't give a... It's oh, not... Yeah. It's some not about them Sergio's or... Hey, some of the stuff at Walmart ain't bad. It really is. It's screw Walmart, man. Okay, hey, he's in here. I do most of my Christmas shopping there. Put mom and dad out of business. They already have. It's too late. They sell dildos at Walmart? I have no idea. You already do shop. I'm sure they sell vibrators. Wow. Dildos. Wow. I'm, I'm sure dildo. they sell personal massage items. They do. They have the oh, no happy Walmart. ending over here. Don't forget. I have nothing. Yeah, we have a massagist now if you guys want to ever come a back again. It's called a misogynist. <laughs> a masseuse. <laughs> we have a misogynist. She, 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 she just don't do a happy ending. My yeah. back's real tight. Get you a don't want to have therapist. Yeah. A therapist. And massage. we have a therapist across the hall. So. Massage therapist. Mike looks uh, like a therapist tonight with a sports jacket. Yes, I am. No, he looks like a pedophile. <laughs> oh, that, wow. 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 Really? Wow. You're very, let's talk to Greg. You're very quiet. What's going on? I'm just listening. Really? Yep. How, what makes you become, uh, what do you teach? Where, what school? Can you say I it? I teach at no? Three Rivers Community College. Which Three Rivers. Oh, nice. That's in Rhode Island, right? Three Rivers. Three Rivers. Three Rivers. Norwich. Norwich, Norwich, yeah. Norwich, okay. Why did I think? Oh, because that's the how casino. casino. How far from the ball? How, how, how far from um, Dodge Stadium? Is that? Does it matter? He's curious. Know. He wouldn't know. It's, it's, it's not too far. Okay. What do you teach? English. In oh. oh, damn. Is it? Like, I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to put you in a spot, but I couldn't no. be an English teacher. I'll, I'll talk through you. Do you mean like great <laughs> grammar? Is it hard or? to teach girls that age, and especially like when they're pretty? Is it? <laughs> or hot? No, he has a lovely young lady of his own. I, that's, that's why I didn't want to go through him. Andrew's, I'm going to say, cool. what would you think, Dave, by being a, a college teacher? About what? Do you exactly? like women anyway? Do I like women? <laughs> Which women? What are we talking about? Girls that are in college. I get freshmen. Were you a freshman teacher? Uh, it's a community college, so Whenever. it's a two-year school. Okay. But, yeah, for the most part, it's uh, first-year composition. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. I don't know. I would find it hard as a teacher. I'd be very distracted. 
Maybe that's my sexuality. I don't know. I can't be an adult. You wear really, really thick glasses that completely obscure your vision so you can't see what anyone looks my like. My whole day through when I'm with Ricky, it's always sexual talk. It's like everything ends up with the word pussy. <laughs> Honey, what's for dinner? <laughs> your pussy? <laughs> it's just weird. I'm just old. I don't know. Well, there is a therapist across the hall. So. I don't need a and therapist. A and a misogynist next door. <laughs> There's a misogynist. I'm a masseuse. Is, is it hard to teach children nowadays? Is it? Misogyny? They're not children. They're not children. Do they do what they want? They're 18 and over, right? Do they know everything? Is it harder? Or do they think they know everything? Or do they think they know everything? Do they Google a lot more and piss you off? No, it's a community college. So for the most part, I mean, we have a pretty diverse student population. And um, for the most part, they're all there voluntarily because they want to, you know, get it done. So, um, no, we have great students. Not on the phone all the time and shit and ignoring you? Um, Somewhat. You know, no more than... Than the rest of us are, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what? They, he, he's English, so he, everybody gets rid of him first. All the academics, right? Oh, Isn't yeah. that when I mean, you go to college? That's the class you get out of the way. Yeah, that's the one yeah. you get out of the way, right? So everybody wants to get through him. So I'm sure he doesn't have a hard wow. time. It's true. It is required for most. Right. Most all academics, people have to do their academics their first the year, right? curriculum. Yeah, yeah they're gen eds. Yeah. yeah, they can get it out of the way. Yep. Yeah, generally that's true. Most, most most of the time, first two years are spent getting all the requirements out of the way, and then you focus on your electives. Well, being at UConn, I see people, and they go to class late. I mean, when I'm getting, I'm getting out at, at nine sometimes, and they're still walking to class. Yeah. But you see, it's funny. You see guys walking from class, walking with a 30-pack. You know they just got out of school from all day. So it's just, it's mm-hmm. col- I always wish to live on a college campus just for one day. Yeah, that that's a pretty neat experience, and I think a lot of people that go through it have no idea how special it is. To be quite honest with you, it's a good time, is it? Really it is. Oh, especially yeah. when somebody's paid for it, and you goddamn <laughs> better appreciate it. Yeah, maybe that's why I appreciated it more myself, as I had to pay for it. So yeah, absolutely. Like, where'd you go? Likewise, I, st- I actually started at Three Rivers. Three Rivers. That's what community college is all about. I'm noticing too. A lot of the state colleges are are, are building like not just little. Addition is they're building wings. Is it yeah, because yeah. everything's expensive now? Well, I think it's they've kind of inherited like the trickle down where like the really high schools people can't afford to go to anymore, and now they're going to like okay, it's you can get the same. You know, if you if you're going into a technical field, like it's not like going to learn science more at another college that you have to pay twice as much for. So it's kind of trickled down. So like the state schools are getting a lot more people coming in. Because it's it's more affordable than going to the top schools. from our state or from out of state, in, like, like UMass in general. The UMass it, system, it also UConn depends on system. the profession you're going into. You know, if right. you're going into academia, like say um, Andrew, you need to go through the university system. You need to go through yeah. accreditation. You need to then get a master's and right. potentially a PhD and so forth. And you know, I have um, well, I guess I could say they're my nieces that that. One of them is working on her PhD, and the other one is, you know, getting ready to, to start in her field as well in, in the sciences. So that's required. But if you go into, say, the information technology industry, uh, 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 even a, a, a two-year degree isn't essential. I mean, most of the time, if you're going to just be a tech person, a certification track is all you need. It and you don't be, need yeah, to go to college either, for that. Yeah. So it depends on what you do. If you're going into management, then, yeah, you need the higher education. You right. need a master's, mm-hmm. possibly a PhD as well. But Otherwise, no. Right. Yeah, that's what happened with UConn, too, because with the program I'm in, a lot of the actual students didn't want to do it. Their radio is dying. Mm -hmm. So they had to open it up to outside people. Yeah. And that's pretty sad because who doesn't want to be in radio no more? Well, terrestrial radio is really going the way of the dodo, man. You've got to be internet-based or or some other podcast or media-based, you know? It's... And anybody can do it now. You don't need to go to broadcasting school. No. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, but no, you, you're right. You don't need to. You, no, my son graduated from um, Connecticut School of Broadcasting, and he thought he was going to get something yeah. just like that. And you know what? Now, I know a lot of you people know, in that boat. Yeah, they yeah. They, I mean, they I mean and they years ago, there. I thought about doing that yeah, myself. I mean, I, mean, I mean, Peter just Peter um, gave my son the the right idea. It's like go do this thing at UConn for what, what was it? Four or five weeks you're doing it for? Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just the way to go. I mean, it's just it's a no-brainer. Dude, you get a broadband cable connection essentially, and you know, some PCs and a board, and you can. Do That's it. it. Like you guys start. It takes a long time to learn it. I mean, you can't just to get a good. Everybody's got a podcast. But the fundamentals, you know. Right. right. Everybody can do a podcast where you hear the toaster in the background in the air. It took a long time because, like, when I first started, it was a microphone in the middle of the table. I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
too much background noise. I mean, like, we would do it on Sunday, and the neighbor would take their garbage out every Sunday during our show. So you could hear them rolling the fucking... Yeah. So it was... When I start to look at something, I, I don't stop until it's done. Yeah. And, like... Buying this board, I mean, I didn't have the money, but I said, you know what, it's going to be worth it. But to go, to go like, when, when I would, um, I'm going through mentoring now at the terrestrial, and the guy said to me, if you watch one of my videos, the guy said to me, he's like, why are you even here? You're doing better than I am. And he wasn't terrestrial. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's yeah. like, you're more, act- I, yeah, because it's like the, the genre now and the mm-hmm. podcasting is all. And to get everything out there, everybody's doing podcasts. There's a million fucking podcasts. It's like with YouTube, you know, everybody's an expert on everything, and everybody, you know, Justin Bieber. I mean, is a great example of YouTube. Yeah, you know, they put they use their cell phone now. Though you take your iPhone or your yep. Galaxy or whatever, and you do a video of yourself doing whatever it is you're doing, and you post it on YouTube, and you're an expert. And sometimes you get a million hits, sometimes you get no hits. You know, it's like you know, guitar instructional. Everybody's a master guitar instructor and has a guitar video, and you look at some of them. And you're like, oh, my God, they really did that and put it out there. And then you see people, you know, a kid, 15 years old, 12 years old, and it's like, holy shit, that kid is ripping. And they're amazing, you know, doing this Mm -hmm. thing. And, you know, again, it's it's, it's hit or miss. Everybody's an expert. The Internet has opened up a lot of avenues for people that couldn't – would never get discovered or yeah. I, it's exactly. great in a lot of cases it, of it is it has helped a lot but it's also it's uh, also damaged a lot a, yep. lot, a lot of people that shouldn't be discovered too so. right yeah. that's true. i mean yeah. For, yeah. for every for like 50 50 for, for me for like every guitar <laughs> player out there <laughs> that, that mm-hmm. has gained some notoriety through through online media like youtube like say a rusty cooley who's an amazing guitar player and and should be like everybody should listen to the dude you know, you, then you, you get some knuckleheaded kid in glasses who's just doing spoof stuff who's getting a ton of hits and is doing great and he's getting endorsements and stuff like that. And you My bad. Where's the – Because everybody the, loves drama. That's well, where's the, the talent? I mean, <laughs> you know, the, 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 the guys like uh, Cooley that have the talent, they really should talented. be really huge, you know, and touring the world and, and doing amazing things. And I, I, I think the guy's happy doing what he's doing, but, you know, he should be a lot – more huge than he is. Than, than but coming people. from the podcast era, I never, I never said that I would go the terrestrial way. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to go that way to see if it's different. But there's more money in it. Like here, more I have sponsors. to hustle. I have yeah. to pay for shit. But they have to hustle too. You got to think of it too. You know, but they have a team. They have right. money. You know what I mean? But like, it's still the same thing. Like the, the the Elvis Durans, they're still making and the Howards, they're yeah. making the money. It's just it's it's, it's still the same thing. It's the same as music, man. If you're making it, you're making it. If you're not, you're. Well, not. how long did it take Howard Stern to get to successful? As he was, you know, twenty years. About that. Fifteen you know? minutes. No, he was making one hundred thirty-seven dollars no. a week for about yeah. a long time. So, so. anything worth. He was in Hartford, man. He was in Hartford. Yeah. According yeah. to his movie, he used to. C C C. Yeah. I'm too fat to make it big. That's the problem. No, no one wants to see fat people on the, on the radio. No one wants to see Nobody fat people. Nobody likes yeah. to see yeah. ugly things on the radio. Yeah, people. they don't want to yeah. see yeah. Yeah. It's all, oh, the be- yeah. all the supermodels get the radio gigs. Why don't you invest in the technology they used in the movies to make uh, Chris Evans skinny? A, uh, mm. what, a, a, a treadmill? Or, ha- or half his age for the first Captain America. Yeah. If I'm drunk, oh. I'll be calm. If I'm calm, I'll be nice. And if I'm nice, I won't go to hell. <laughs> and on that point, <laughs> right. <laughs> It's just, it's just a grind, and I'm glad you guys came on, man. Uh, yeah, thank thanks. you, Ascension, for coming on here. Thanks for having us. Exactly. Appreciate it. Uh, go check them out in uh, Bleachers. Bleachers uh, in Bristol, Bristol on the 22nd. October 22nd. Oh, I love this. 300 a, Middle Street. Such such a, uh, sounds like a PPRN night for, um, for the staff. Look at that yeah. picture. Like, so hot. Yeah. yeah, you guys should come out. Come out, you know. I supported them. Where the fuck were you guys last week? Well, yeah. you're in your business. They didn't know about us. So. You're, you're in Tennessee. The unit was. I working. supported them. I, Sorry, and then I walked in. I'm it's like, okay. That, that was that was really a dress. And they looked at me so. like. Sorry, but I, I didn't get the invite. <laughs> no. I usually in, work in, every week. In my defense, I was like a few pints in at that point too. So. I, 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 that. I had my shirt on, and I'm going, and I felt like a dick. So I'm like, whatever. You're I'll talk to them after they're off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know I was there. Actually, they somebody didn't realize until Darren said it either. Someone looked no, at I saw, it. I saw you it. did. And I saw you. Actually, he was the first one I talked to. That janitor from the university is hitting on us. <laughs> <laughs> Run. Oh, Jesus. 
You can ha half the half the time during our set, I was just worried I was going to turn suddenly and rip the headstock off my guitar. And the intent was trying to make a move. <laughs> very, very good, Ben. Check them out, uh, Ascension. And uh, there'll be a Bleachers again and uh, with Breathe again. Mm -hmm. So uh, go check them out. Yep, the website's ascension.rocks. Okay. Is yeah, that rocks? I hope they can X. spell it right. Not like no, is that it's, rocks? It's grammatically A S C. It's correct. That janitor thinks he's a student here. Just keep him busy. Oh, uh, <laughs> look what happens when he puts the jacket on. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike is like my left hand man now. No, he's doing a good job. Yeah. He actually okay. stepped up and said he's going to do both yep. nights now. Casey, you're fired. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I love him to death. I'm saying that busting ass. I told you when we moved, people were going to drop off. And, and yeah, and yeah, it, yeah, it right. happened the first week. You're right. <laughs> first week. That far from the First week. Time. It happened the first day. What, what the hell is Brian? <laughs> it happened the first fucking day. I they don't like to travel. That's uh, an action symbol for travel. It's like people from Torrington. They don't like to leave their town. Uh, it's, it's Cause they like, got nothing to do anyway, so like why would they want to leave? Huh? Hey, who's from it's Torrington? It's called being a grown-up, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, cool. it's because it's there's a barbed wire people. fence around the friggin' whole city. Right. Anyway. There's so much places to eat and drink around there. Why wouldn't you just, yeah, just leave your town for one day? Just leave Me and Dave are neighbors. For a day. Now, so leave it for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so you both are going to get washed away in the hurricane. So what? Uh, I would, uh, I, if I'm going to die from a fucking natural thing, I'd rather die where we live. I don't rather, even understand. I'd rather be. I'd rather go in an airplane crash because you know what? That's you're you're going down yeah. double fisted. That's not natural. I'd rather die having the best orgasm of my life. Just like that guy in that jacket did. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the guy that was big? Big Dennis. <laughs> that, can, can it be like a haunted jacket and everybody it looks wears haunted. it and ends up dying when they're having an orgasm? Actually, I plan on building a scarecrow for my garden. Can I use your jacket? Yes, you can. <laughs> wow. You can. It's a little wow. too short. <laughs> you gotta be sweating your ass off in that jacket. No, it's freezing here. That's why I got oh, it. Freezing. Freezing. Nice. Freezing. Turn on the electric drill. It'll generate some wind power. Uh, yeah, with that um, real citrus air freshener. We got a yes. fucking retarded fan that's pointing nowhere. It'll smell like the Bahamas, but just in that corner. <laughs> it smell like Cancun. I know. Yeah. Listen, I didn't realize there were gonna be that many men in the room today. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, where the fuck all of us? It's a big man room to men math. PPRN's man cave. Mm. <laughs> so right. don't forget this Saturday from uh, 12 p.m. till 10 a.m. Uh, DJ Max, DJ Manny, Joe Antonio, 9 a.m. myself, and uh, music from edm 2 gocom makes it for 22 hours, and then on Sunday uh, our sports show from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then our normal shows, and then we are 24/7 now. So coming very very soon once I get the fucking music database up, Me? it's gonna be a music station too. Excellent. So awesome. we're we're moving up, Max. We're getting there. And don't forget, 2017, we got the Harford Yard Goats. Yeah, we got. We just got sponsored. Will they have a stadium? Yeah, they got a new. They contract. better. <laughs> they'll be playing. They just got sued again. Now that there's room. If they don't, there'll be a municipal stadium in Waterbury. Oh, that'd be great. That, yeah, that, that is a downgrade. Um, that is. We're going to be uh, collaborating with them this year. So the New Britain Stadium was pretty nice. So. The new stadium is really nice. I don't it, understand it's, it's, what's yeah. not finished about it. They got grass. They no, got it's, it, it's, more, it's more of like the irrigation and all that. But I mean, they're, they're getting, they're, no, they're getting, they're getting toward the end. Um, they're saying because they brought a, um, a contractor in and the, and it's through an insurance company. It's going to be all set for 2017. So as soon as they get those sinkholes filled in, they'll be all set. Yeah, in Hartford. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, when, it's once a beautiful we, stadium. Once they get uh, uh, all set, we're gonna have people winning contests to throw out the first pitches in the Ooh. first game. So yeah, pretty big for uh, PPRN. That'll be a, hey, you guys. Hey, any of you guys calf. play sports? Any of you guys be able to throw out that first pitch? No. <laughs> any sports guys here? I don't do. I can throw a baseball. Count? I mean, I that's oh, all right. That's, yeah, that that's, does count. That's better than me. <laughs> Martial arts, yeah, that works. All right, Mike, what did you learn? Because there's a room full of people, so we got. I learned um, that wear a jacket and get heavily harassed. <laughs> he <laughs> learned that all sales are final. Can you think about <laughs> it? <man? laughs> all sales are final. That's uh, when the, the, the original purchaser <laughs> fucking bought that jacket. But then I expected it. I just didn't think I'd wear it, but it's freezing here. So what I learned is that <laughs> this is the coldest window, you bloody bastard. <laughs> I'm sweating. And uh, Kinky Boots this weekend at the Palace. Anybody who wants to see a great Broadway show? Palace and Waterbury. Palace and Waterbury. Kinky Boots. You got free Broadway. tickets for us. There are no tickets for you, man. Oh, you suck. 
What did you learn? Anything? Did you learn anything? No, this was great. Thank you for having us. Oh, no problem. That was sort and sweet. Joe, what'd Just you like his anything? entire performance tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what did wow. you learn? Just had a great time. Did you? It, it nice. did. All right. John? Um... Pass. Oh. Speechless. Speechless. We don't pass on PPR. Because we're not cops. You don't have to plead the fifth. You don't have the right to remain silent. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it will be aired so people will know what, you, what you're saying, but come on. Yeah, it's only possible. You had to, learn, you had to learn something. Don't be shy. You learned that you're the most no, talkative of the group. You're the most talkative all night. Don't come yeah, to us. already knew that. We don't come that. to a podcast anymore. <laughs> it was an interesting experience. It was a lot of fun. Good. And we were tamed tonight. Listen to the past shows. You'll see. Oh, my God. Yes, mate. Did you learn anything? <laughs> I learned that um, it's cool to have something like this available. And um, we, you know, we appreciate you having us on to... Um, promote our band and absolutely to, yeah, and to uh showcase our music so thank, thank you. you for that yeah. anytime nice. man you're here nice. anytime nice thanks what'd you for, learn thanks for you know oh, of course getting our name out there of course what'd you learn i actually was distracted tonight only because of um everything that's going on down south with the hurricane that's going to be um oh my god that's actually um it's b landing right from my parents house in Or ormond beach florida so i've got a Kind of a little bit distracted tonight, so um, my thoughts and prayers are with the people down in Florida, Georgia, um, obviously the Carolinas. Go away, fat man. <laughs> you so bitch. So I mean, if, if, if there's if, if there's anybody from those areas, honestly, if, if there's anybody from those areas listening tonight, do us a favor, listen to the evacuation orders. Um, just get out of the way this fucking hurricane because it's. This thing, this thing means more business than ever. So just do what you got to do. We want you to be safe. We want you listening at PPRN. So do what you got to do. Be safe. We love you. Listen in. And just what'd you learn? <laughs> I told you I was distracted tonight. I just, what'd you learn? I what'd you learn? I learned you look like a raccoon in that goddamn jacket. <laughs> okay, Dex. So you're, you're, an right, you're an awful therapist. <laughs> All right, no, 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 no ser seriously. Well, no, stay on task. Ser no, what did you learn? No, seriously, just, just seriously. It's not, it's, seriously, just. I prescribe Adderall for you. Shut up, Edith. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, I, everybody that's in the, um, in the eye of the hurricane, just get the hell out of where you got to be. Get north, get west, do whatever you got to do. Be safe. We want you guys to be safe. Put it in, take it out. Put it in, take it out. Put it after in, take all it out. That, after in, all that, after all that, they're gonna. The last time you said that, I, my, my, I was bawling my eyes out, you bastard. <laughs> Dennis, what'd you, Dennis, what'd you learn? I learned there were white musicians in Connecticut that don't rap, <laughs> 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 which blew my dick off. Um, you guys are great too, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> it's just there's been. A You're the one of... acting like a bitch. <laughs> There's just every time I come Damn, on, there, where I'm was like, that oh, all like night? A, a bassist, and he's just like, yo, 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 check this out. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, all right, that guy's angry and red haired. Um, and, and, <laughs> yeah, right. And, and You're the one um, acting like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've learned that uh, apparently uh, crickets are my new punchline. <laughs> when jokes don't work, I'm just going to go crickets. Um, we have audio from your last show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, crickets are the best applausers. So I'm getting used They're to rubbing their legs together. Very supportive. Very supportive. Max, you haven't had pussy until you had cricket pussy. That's, oh, that's the worst. <laughs> they give it up for free. That's how buddy. Sure about that. <laughs> yes. Max, what you learn? You learn anything, brother? Here, here's this one. No, I was just observing the day in a new studio and stuff like that. I was kind of laying low today. Like in the studio, next aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I got to get a little more comfortable with everything that's going on, but I was, that's why I was just checking everything out. Um, that's right. That's right. You just didn't appreciate He's like a hamster in a new habit trail. You, you just, gotta, you just got to like get you put in the it. corner. <laughs> He's got a shit in the corner on that jacket. He just then... got a brand new, like, bed. He's got to shred it. He's good. Like a hamster yeah. cage. Yeah. I don't know how you sleep. <laughs> and that fucking, awesome. that <laughs> fucking heat back there, that lamp, man. You got to move that fucking thing. There's a lot of heat in here. Tanning bed back. Well, we have too many. A lot of heat. Well, no happy ending for you. <laughs> Fucking hot. The next Hurt. time I put the fan on the freaking actual window. Yeah, dude. Clip it. It has a clip on it. Yeah, look at that. So we're what? like dying in here. Everybody's like drenched. Again, no. Uh, Except for the guy with the jacket. 
What did, what did you <laughs> <laughs> he's, free, he's freezing his ass off. <laughs> what, what did you learn? <laughs> I, I, I learned to make sure you really look and make sure it's a black jacket instead of a brown jacket <laughs> yeah. when you go to the consignment shop. It's got patches. And make sure that it reaches. <laughs> that it reaches. <laughs> We're starting to Bob. <laughs> Let's have six. No. Oh, man. No, it was a good night. I appreciate everybody coming. Night. You lazy skank. What'd you learn, Dennis? Uh, right What'd, you learn, Dennis? Uh, what'd you learn, Dennis? What'd you learn, Dennis? I learned a <laughs> lot, actually, about the music business, listening to these guys talk about their past and present experiences and things I didn't know. And I have to say, kind of along the lines of what Dennis was referencing, it's really nice to see a group of people who work together to make themselves better and create a good quality product because there's so, like I said, there's so many people out Very there who like try to work together, but it's only because I'm going to use this person to get myself ahead. And as soon as I get it, get myself ahead and do everything my way, then I'm out of there. There's so much of that, and to see people who work together creatively and get along so well is is really nice. It's almost a perfect storm. Sorry, Bob. Um, it's all good. Of, <laughs> of talent. Yeah, what and it sound learn? really good too. And there's, you know, rock music, you, you're not hearing that much anymore. It's all this pop, techno, computer generated auto tune. So it's nice to know that there's still like a rock. Hey, that's presence. our Saturday. That's not what I was talking yeah, about. Saturday not that stuff. Yeah, that's our Saturday. 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 I also learned that Dennis is into sturdy Africans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got me through the airport. I'm, I'm happy. I love them. They're good people. And am I the only one who thinks John kind of looks like Zach Efron's really cool uncle? He does. He does. Okay. He does. That's he what does. I like. He does look like Zach, very much so. He's a handsome man. Wow, well, you were paying attention. What you learned, brother? Uh, what I learned? I learned that uh, Mike definitely knows how to shop. Yeah. Great jacket. Maybe for groceries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you are a shopper. <laughs> From the dumpster. <laughs> You're going to all these. <laughs> price right. We'll give him price right. I love you, buddy. I, 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 I hate that, you. That, oh. I hate everybody. <laughs> You're no, on a show. No, really, what did you learn? What did you and, learn? And, and yeah, what'd you learn? And you were so proud of that jacket when you walked in. Now you're just like, your ego's down, right? They're going to think I'm a professor. I'm not <laughs> giving up on the jacket. Uh, don't give up on it. It's got a time Don't. Play. Listen, don't. jumpsuits came back for, what, 10 minutes? So, so did yoga pants. You should get a <laughs> clip-on tie and a squirting flower for that thing. <laughs> By wearing this jacket, I may die of an o- having an orgasm. You can wear that Sunday morning, 8 to 9, before we do the all-thing sports. <laughs> Just don't wipe your penis with that jacket. It'll leave, like, little fucking... Little, little bed bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're called crabs. <laughs> Dennis is waking up with five minutes to go. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I haven't got a hit all night, and all of a sudden I'm hitting the bat in a thousand in the ninth inning. I learned that uh, um, adult musicians can sit with us <laughs> again, once again, and really just sit there and have fucking straight faces. I don't know how people do they it. They did a great man. job tonight. They really did. Very good, oh, yeah, band, very man. Good. Yeah, I seen you guys live. I can actually say I seen you live and check them out. And um, they'll be in Bleachers again, once again, in uh, October 22nd, right? Looking yeah. forward to that one. Go Thank see you. them, please, and uh, mm. support them. Support local people and everything. So Support the local music scene. Support, support, the original yeah, support music. everybody. Fuck Original music. Exactly. exactly. so goddamn stubborn. Fuckers. Support original So many bands out sure. there that are that are good, so support everybody you can. I also learned that Bob is like a gremlin. If you pour water on him at midnight, he'll just keep going and going and multiply. Oh, oh, oh you so it's a sports show. What the fuck? That's Sunday. I'm ra- wax on, wax off. <laughs> it's like Tony Romo and the Hurricane. Shut the up about the Romo, you bastard. This is, a, this is not sports. When is this going to be a Hurricane Romo? I also learned that I don't sh- even think that Max is Spanish. Isn't Puerto Rico like a hot continent? Can't you? Puerto Rico's not a continent. Not a continent. It's, 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 peninsula. Peninsula. it's certainly hot. It's an peninsula. island. Puerto Rico is an island. It's, it's an a, island? It's an it's island. It's a commonwealth. It's a commonwealth. Well, it's a commonwealth, but it's, it's an a, island. It's a commonwealth. And you island. can't handle the heat? Or? You got like a high like uh, salt level? Why do you thing? think he's here? <laughs> I don't think Puerto Rico is actually that hot, really. It's not. It can be. That's no, where the hurricane started, isn't it? It's yeah, more humid it's than hot. Oh, big yeah. hurricane yeah. generating the machine Republic on the is island. Isn't hot. it where the hurricane start usually? No. no yes. No. It no. always begins with two really feisty broads having a fight, <laughs> yeah. and from that, hurricanes hit the U.S. And somehow a baby just pops out in the middle of the scuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's with possible. With Mike Jackson. Like it's, it's probably Mike Jackson. Put his headphones back on. Put his headphones back on. Is that baby reffing or what? Put your headphones back on. Even John really realizes it. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. I do learn that I miss having my wife here. That fuck sucks, though. So. 
Love you, honey. I'm coming on pretty soon. So, Guys, let's have a nice round of applause for Ascension, man. Awesome, Woo! man. Gotta go see him. Nice round of applause for the staff, too, man. Everybody, you see guys came great through. Great live Mike, talent. Bob, hey, guys first got it. Max These and guys Dave. Got the good stuff. First week in the studio. studio. A lot of great things great coming with studio, it. yeah. And uh, time to get up and get going. And don't forget about Saturday and Sunday. And everybody, be nice to everybody. And oh coming soon, I'll be on WHSU. What's the nation, baby? HUS. What HSU? I don't know. HUS, HUS is called old. WUS. I'll Holy be on there too, so uh, with PPRN personal. So, as we say at the end of every show, everybody, stay, stay black, y'all. Good night.